uh, the mob boat. <laughs> I don't know, guys, mob boat. <laughs> I know that people have been saying, hey, don't vote for the blue mob. The blue mob has won, like, each and every time. Well, they made the blue mob good again, or at least a decent option. Now, on, on surface level, it seems like a fairly basic idea. Crab has claw, you get claw, claw extend your reach. But what if it was something a little bit more than that? What if we got to dreaming? What if, instead of just like building and breaking range, what if it also increased the weapon range? Now, you take the system that Minecraft has already built up with a sort of rock, paper, scissor-esque combat mechanic, which I kinda enjoy. Boo, boo, kill me, throw tomatoes at me, throw me in the pit or whatever. Like, yeah, I like how like the rock, paper, scissors sort of system um, the combat has nowadays. You add the crab claw to that, and it adds yet another layer. Before, the only real counter to a bow was to just have a shield, which could be countered by an axe. But now, you can get yourself a crab... Perhaps you can get yourself a crab claw, it's not certain. Perhaps you can get yourself a crab claw hold a sword and be able to uh, get that person with the boat from just a few more blocks away thus making the bow people have to go further and giving you more time to react I feel like it could be an interesting concept dogs man's best friend both inside and outside of Minecraft but you know, you can't really use them for combat anymore, because, you know, they, they die and get sad. What if I told you, you could now have an army of armored dogs kill a man in the street of Baltimore on July 16th, 1967? Okay, maybe not that exact date, because, you know, I was already taken, but you... Choose your own date, come on. So, take a little adventure with me. To the green room. A place full of all my grand inventions that I did not take the background off of. We have items from previous videos that we, I couldn't do because that sequence was really annoying to do in my editing software. We have... A fake transparent image I got off of Google.com. And finally, we have the Armadillo Armor. Thanks to the new mob, the Armadillo. Wait, don't Armadillos get hit by cars? Thanks to this brand new mob, we have a new type of skewed, which is really good. I the turtle skewt could have been something that was like a lot more commonplace, but it wasn't. So it's good to see the skewts being made into armor be revisited once again. Well, well, well. Looks like we're back here again. So, first two mob vote options. A little bit extra range, that's pretty cool. Armor for dogs, that's pretty rad. You know, I really like the new armor idea, especially with skews again. So, third option, increased boat speed. Looking through all the options that you have for movement over water, and yes, I'm also talking about ice here, just, you know. So, slowest, walking on ice. Second slowest, running on ice. Third slowest, minecart. Third fastest, boat in water. Second fastest, elytra with no rockets. I did not test with rockets, who cares. What? Most fast, 
is ice. Boat on ice. Huh. 2.8 se 2.87 seconds to travel 50 blocks. Huh. Does that really need an upgrade? Really? I mean, like, like no shade to the developers. They're all like really good at ideas, but that is absolutely not going to win at all. So, sorry, Penguin. Looks like you're not getting in this year. Oh, come on, really? I thought I was done with this video. But it turns out, people have started being a tad bit stupid. So, uh, yeah, section number four. Here we go. So, mob vote's happening. You know, like it does every year. Everyone likes the mob vote. It's all fun. It's all, it's all funny games for a fun game. But, <sighs> people have started trying to boycott the mob vote. The Mojang is being lazy. Why don't they just add all three? First of all, that is not the point of the mob vote. The point of the mob vote is to let the community decide if they want added to the game. Second of all, it would be very hard to add all of the things to the game. And people are saying, oh, modders can do it this fast. Why can't you? Ooh. First of all, the modders are not on your side. Like, at all. <laughs> Secondly, modders only have to consider a few parts because they're only working for the Java part of it. They don't have to consider Bedrock. Just, uh. Okay. Here's the stuff that the mob vote boycotters think has to be done. This is what actually has to be done. Not even all of it. This is just the stuff I could think of. Like, come on. So yeah, uh, boycotting the mob vote is, you know, kind of a stupid thing because it's, you know it's they have work to do. They have the rest of the update to do. Plus, I'm going to assume that they're not trying to put their workers into a stress casualty like some game development studios. But yeah, so uh, my vote is cool. I've given my ideas. Have a good night, everybody.